Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm sure some of you have noticed that uh, checkpoints aren't permanent. And so when you die twice, they go away. Someone pointed that out. And uh, actually, let me, let me ch check that out. Yeah. Noons 3. He totally pointed that out, and I was like, Right, I didn't even have to look at my code to know that I fucked up. <laughs> and so, I'm releasing this small little update to help people like him and uh, maybe other people who have noticed that problem or uh, basically just need that permanent checkpoint. And so, we get the checkpoint. We die. It's a pretty uh, interesting game here, I know. Jump off. You get the checkpoint and you die. You jump off. Get the checkpoint. Oh, wait, no. It's, uh, see, now we can reset it. So now you jump off. You get the checkpoint. You die. And see, now it goes to the default bomb location. Now let's get to the checkpoint. And you jump off. And then you die. And bam. See? Back at the T for top dog or triumph or... Uh, trigonometry i don't know and so that's it i'm going to show you how i made those changes to easily adapt what you've done before so we don't have to waste too much time and you basically you want to remove that interface class so let's go to my character first just quickly get in this you want to remove that respawn interface and we're going to create a new one called controller interface and so when you run over the item, the item communicates with the controller and the con controller communicates with the character. And so that's why we move the respond interface from here because now the controller handles that information. And so you see the get right here. It's the same as before. Now we have a checkpoint variable in the controller and it's simply a transform. And the set is slightly different. And so that controller interface I was talking about that we now have is right here. And that's a simple function of returning the transform. Okay? And so set checkpoint gets the pawn because not a pawn is storing this information. And set set same security check. It's pretty much all the same. Pause right here so you guys can grab that and so now in here you can keep spawn player exactly the same you don't even have to look at it that massive monster and uh, get player location and this is simply get actor transform and it returns it and that's it and so the respawn comment code now you have to get the player index get the checkpoint which is the character interface now uh, if you follow the tutorial, it would be respawn interface and send that to the spawn player. And that's it. And so for a controller, uh, for the item now, you can uh, ignore all this. But for the item, you just simply target the player controller now. And we want to add a new boolean. Well, you can if you want to, where you can access updating or resetting the checkpoint from the editor. And you want to expose this editor right here. And that'll show up outside just how I have it here. You click this update checkpoint. And that's why this one removed and those don't. Because uh, these have it checked. And that's it. And uh, that's it, everyone. Uh, I hope that helps you. If you have any problems, uh, please let me know. This will simply allow you now to hold that checkpoint forever and also. If you store other variables within this, you can send that off to a game save and uh, have that player start back at that pro uh, that progress point. And that's something I'm going to talk about later on this week. But uh hope that helped you guys. Peace.